Hello everyone, Sunset Up 2, and welcome to another Fabric install tutorial, this time for Snapshot 20W06A. So, what you want to do is go to fabricmc.net slash use, and then you'll come across MultiMC and Vanilla. If you want to use stuff for mod packs or servers, it's not going to be covered in this tutorial, it's only going to be for the client um, of MultiMC and Vanilla. Now MultiMC you can do it two ways, or well, I guess three. One, you can download it, which will just download a zip file locally to your system. Copy, which means it will copy the URL to your clipboard, and you've got the MultiMC launcher having it built in, where if you just create an instance, so for example you've already created a 20w06a snapshot instance and then from there you pretty much just go edit instance install fabric and then it'll do that for you so that's any of the three ways if you wanted to use the other two with the copy and the local to do that you obviously don't want to go edit instance you want to add a new instance and you want to import from zip so you can browse to get it locally or you can copy it from your clipboard into there so that's how you do that for MultiMC and from there you can just put your mods in and it'll work perfectly fine for vanilla on the other hand you're going to want to actually download an installer I personally go with the jar version and from there what you want to do is obviously if you have it in your downloads which I've got a few of them still left on me I'll just check my folder for it, so here we go with jars, and then this one here, this is obviously an older one but either way, should still work and once that's loaded up we should be able to see something like so and you can go for client or server, obviously I'm going to be doing client for this tutorial and we want snapshots, and the latest one has come up uh, stick most likely with the latest loader version when doing um, certain releases of snapshots. If you did want to go further back you could, um, but it sometimes does get a bit complicated um, when looking back at ones that are for older snapshots, at least in my experience from looking at some older mods and doing that sort of thing. Um, obviously set the location for where you want to install it for your vanilla launcher, and you can create a profile where you can untick it and it won't do it and it'll probably just give you fabric loader but it won't create a new profile every single time it'll just update fabric and not create a new profile so I don't actually have this yet so I'll actually do that now we can close that and if we just change things here you should be able to see under versions this should be a fabric for that version so you can see 20w06a is listed there and then we can put our mods in our mods folder now obviously I've had to clear out a few because I had some Forge 115.2 mods in here I've cleared those out and they're all in their own separate folders to not be loaded and not bothering so I've got these here and I do have obviously a multi-MC instance open but um, we'll just go with what we can here for vanilla just to load that up as well and I'm just going to load it up real quick. Okay, and as you can see, it's now got a new profile because I asked it to. And if I wanted to edit it, I could use an existing one and then change it to the following snapshot. Or if I wanted to go back, I could go back to the 115 one or whatever I wanted to. So that's created a new one for me. And we'll load this up, and it should obviously load only the fabric specific mods. Now, typically, if you're wanting to use fabric in any version, if you're just watching the snapshot video but you're curious about release versions for 115 if you haven't seen that or something, I definitely recommend getting fabric API as many mods do use it. Not all, but a fair majority do, so definitely download that and then put it in the mods folder like you saw me put in the vanilla mods folder. And in terms of ones that are available already for 116, um, you might have seen Torturino and Win Wonder. So they're the only ones I've found so far that support it. If you are running 115 though, best to go with Mod Menu as it's not a feature part of Fabric and hasn't been as long as it's been created, unlike Forge that has it built in. So keep that in mind as Fabric as well as Rift have had it where they're 
the mod menu or mod list is a separate mod. So it's put that in the mods folder and you should be good to go. Uh, I do, which I don't usually put these in tutorials, uh, but I do have a forum thread if you want to know more. So obviously I'll list a bunch of mod spotlights specific stuff. I've got other threads and other additional things in case if you're curious for mod updates and otherwise. I don't usually promote these in my tutorials, but I thought I would just in case if anyone is curious for any mod updates um, at all. So we'll see how this is going. So that's installing 20w6a, and that should be fine. Now in our multi-mc instance, it should be fine. You can see that obviously it says 20w06a, multi-mc5, fabric, etc, and fabric. And we're good to go. Um, I don't know if it'll show us via data packs, but either way. Um, fabric, mining levels, and so on. So that's all it's showing there. Not everything will be displayed in the data pack list though, so that's fine. But I do know that they installed correctly, so I'm okay with that. But um, yeah, so we'll just wait for the fabric install. Uh, fabric set up to complete itself to show that it did successfully and then that should be it if there is any more questions though let me know in the comments and i'll try and get to them but otherwise thanks so much for watching and goodbye i'll probably cut to it just in case because it might take a while and we can see it's loading and it should obviously be very close to done and we can now see the splash screen, and it is now modded. And if we just create a new world, we should be able to see that it works there as well, instead of just only onto the splash screen. Obviously, I have a ton of worlds, so it's not going to load the best. So, we go fabric 20w06a, we'll go into survival, we'll enable everything else because I'll need it, and we'll need sheets to display data pack list and whatever else is necessary. And we'll just wait a bit. And it should be done in a matter of seconds. And we'll see what we'll get. Load it up, and if we data pack the list, we should have Torturino and Windwonder. Yep, yeah, so Torturino and Fabric is now loaded up. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.